days away from seeing some of that summer heat. Temperatures in the 90s likely late this week and most likely coming as of this weekend to be the first time this year that we've seen the 90s, but that's about right on schedule to when we typically have our first 90 degree day. We're not quite to that summer heat yet, so as a result, the nights are still feeling pretty comfortable. Upper 60s to low 60s as of right now. Freeport dropping fast already down to 60 degrees currently and we are expecting the 50s again overnight makes it very easy to enjoy the nighttime conditions even if it's just to take a quick photo this was sent in by Cheryl Geller uh, as of uh, her backyard uh, showing off some of the flowers at nighttime so uh, check out our 13 weather authority photo community for beautiful shots like that later on tonight for us down into the low 50s a few spots may dip down into the upper 40s uh, Rockford as you can see uh, looking at 53 under a clear sky Calm winds expected late, so not much of a cooling breeze going into the morning, but overall pretty quiet night ahead. And as we look towards tomorrow afternoon, we're going to gain a couple degrees of heat each day moving forward. That places us into the upper 80s uh, with mainly sunny conditions. Wind switches direction to out of the west. Overall, though, very similar to the past couple days this week. Low humidity, lots of sun, and definitely some uh, hints of summer heat, though we are getting warmer out there, placing us nearly 10 degrees above average. And that's the trend until we get to the 90s for the first time uh, this meteorological summer and uh, first time this year as well. It's ahead for the weekend, but we might be pretty close to that by the time we get to Friday. Uh, what we don't see is any rainfall. That doesn't pop up until early next week. In fact, Monday trending drier, so we could go uh, another long stretch without rain, adding on to some of the drought conditions we have in play as of right now. Uh, we look uh, at the weekend. Early preview shows 92 in the forecast with some breezy sun. Southwest winds. We're starting to get some change out there. Not only do we have the heat, but the wind kicks on up, blowing in the hotter conditions. Humidity on the rise as well. And as we look towards Sunday, very, very similar conditions. Uh, so kind of tongue in cheek here. We're just kind of copying and pasting the forecast uh, for Sunday as we don't really see much change between the two days. And this would bring us some of our first days in the 90s. We average about 15 every year. Last year, uh, above average, 23 of them over the course of the summer. So far, none for this year, but that's not too surprising. And that May usually only sees about one day in the 90s. And we just started June, so we're not necessarily behind schedule yet, as we typically see our first 90 degree day around June 8th. So we'll definitely have a little heat this weekend to get us onto that board. You can see that through Monday, though, we're staying dry and mainly sunny. Temperatures start to cool a little next week as more clouds and possibly a lot more showers work in. We could be in a rainy pattern starting Tuesday. In your most accurate 10 day forecast, you may see rain chances daily starting Tuesday and lasting throughout next week. That will keep the heat down just a little, James. Alex, thanks. Still to come, come